You've probably heard this term. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. But what exactly is fake news? And more importantly, why should you care about it? Let's start by looking at its history. Well, wait, that wasn't a shadow. It's something moving. What? It's, it's standing on legs. Those strange beings who landed in the Jersey farmlands tonight are the vanguard of an invading army from the planet Mars. While fake news is nothing new, the internet has made it easier than ever for fake news to spread and even happen in the first place. Here's why. Before the internet, most people got their news from the paper, radio, or television. Because there were fewer sources providing news, it was in the best interest of each to be as reputable as possible. But with the internet, news moved online. Suddenly, anyone could post information on places like Facebook and Twitter. With so much information coming at us from all angles, it's easy to get duped. Especially when articles are made to look like verified news sources. People generally believe it to be true because it looks like news. This is happening more than ever. In fact, studies show that 75% of people who see fake news think it's real news. It can be really hard to tell when something is fake. Even our own eyes can be tricked. This is called a deep fake. Videos like this one use artificial intelligence to make it look like someone is saying or doing something they never actually did. Being duped by false information can have devastating effects on society and our democracy. That's why it's more important than ever for you to know what fake news is, be able to recognize it, and know how to stop it from spreading. So back to our original question, what is fake news? Fake news is when news, stories, or hoaxes are created to deliberately misinform or deceive. It also helps to know what fake news is not. News you don't like or simply don't agree with is not fake news. Stories that poke fun at real news, on parody sites for example, are not fake news. Opinion pieces on news sites are not fake news. And honest mistakes are not fake news. Still, recognizing fake news is hard. That's why it's up to you to be critical of what you see and hear online. The best way to verify online information is to do what real fact checkers from reputable news organizations do. Researchers from the Stanford History Education Group discovered that the first thing real fact checkers do is open a second tab on their browser where they conduct their investigations. Then they do three things. Number one, find out who the author is. Is the person or organization reputable? Are they even qualified to write about their topic? Do they have a financial interest in the information? Number two, what is the evidence for their claims? Can they back up their claim? Does the evidence they present, if they even present any, come from a reliable source? Or are they just giving you their opinion? Conduct an investigation into the evidence too. Number three, investigate what other sources say about the author, organization, and the claims. Search the topic to see what else has been published about it and check multiple credible sources to see what others say. Finally, you can always use plain old common sense. If you see something online that makes you scratch your head, then it's time to start doing some sleuthing. These sites can help. It can be easy to be tricked online, but if you're smart and ask questions, you can stop fake news in its tracks. Whatever you do, don't make, share, send, or like fake news and watch out for clickbait. It's up to you to call foul on fake news.